Hello, and welcome to my painful attempt to use the test commit revert script that uh, I did shortly ago to do a kata. I'm going to do the one that uh, was actually referenced in the articles, the blogs, that uh, I linked to in my post about creating this. Um, so I'm going to use Fibonacci because... Well, that's just what they did, so it's what I got in my mind. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright, details of it, not terribly important. Um, let's break this down so we can actually see the words on the screen, which are amazingly useful. Alrighty. So we need to write a function fib Boop. that takes one parameter step and returns a number from the Fibonacci sequence based on the parameter step. What is determined? So zero returns zero, four returns three. So this is position zero, one, two. All right, so the, the zeroth position is the zero. Got it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, five is five. Neat. Not eight. Six. Okay. <clears throat> so that is uh, pretty clear. So I have the uh, NuGet Package Manager console up. I actually found that I can use this to run my script. Um, so I get, I can look at the get status, nothing's, uh, I am in my project folder, and the way my script is set up, I actually have set up wrong, uh, I'll correct that in a moment, I have to run it from the project folder no matter where it is, so I'll be running it, that, uh, was not the right thing to do. I will be running it. From this and the script lives elsewhere, I have to find ooh, I have the script up. Sweet. So we can see the location of my script here. And that's where we're gonna run from. But uh, to build my solution is actually wrong. So I need to figure out what my solution name is. Ah. <clears throat> Excuse me while I do that. Um, here's solution name. Okay. <clears throat> I know, big and fancy. So that's probably a parameter I'll have to make in which these are all make parameters. We'll get to that later. So, let's do this. What am I gonna do? Step zero should return zero. Seems like a very reasonable thing to do first. <clears throat> so we'll do fib.0, but first we actually need to run my script. So um, I'm going to grab it from the location it's in. So it's a little easier for me to just copy and paste this. Alright, so it's right here. This is my uh, script. I'm running the package manager console. Got this. Um, so I'm in my thing as before. Now we run this. I'm just gonna chill. It's not gonna do anything for us until we actually create something. So over here I have my class one because the script needs to be able to revert only the source folder. Um, let me actually show you that how that looks. 
So I have my test project in a test folder at the root of my git directory and my source project in a source folder at the root. That is because as we, I, I posted about, uh, we have to actually check out a location uh, not do a git revert. Uh, so, <clears throat> because we have some different ways to handle things, I have to structure the code a certain way. <clears throat> and because I have a class file over here, I'm going to use that. I'm not going to do a test. I'm not going to do a just a method in my test project because that would defeat the entire purpose of everything I'm trying to do here. All right, so it's referencing that, um, and this is called fib, and I'm going to give it zero, and we're going to get an int back. Okay, hey, it says lowercase, I don't care. So now, the file has changed. Nothing's happening because I haven't saved it, so I'm going to save all. Bam, detected it running. Now, I actually have, ooh, that text is terrible. Um... So I have it saying, yeah, that blue is terrible. Uh, I'll remember. I'm going to make a note of that. Make a note at the top here. All right. So <clears throat> I allow a single not implemented exception because this gets generated. And if I save it, well, then, if, if I didn't allow one, it would remove the method. And then I'd have to go in and have to tweak it before I could even save it. And that just got really annoying. So, I don't. Okay, I'm going to return to zero. Yep, my God. Save it. Builds running. Uh, okay, hey, it, um, saved it. it. It said it can do a git push. I actually don't have a server for this, so it does nothing, but it worked. Uh, ish. I, uh, don't have an actual server. Oops. Um, let me do this. No, no, um, nah, I forgot to set this up. I need to uh, add some assertions. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Alrighty, uh, the tests, we're gonna add that assertions. Why? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> um, I have it locked up. That's kind of cool. This is it's the new Git package manager console, so <clears throat> um, I actually had that locked up, occupied, busy. I don't know what you call that, but I couldn't install new Git stuff, so <clears throat> so we had to fix that. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now we actually have our assertion. Hey, it takes me a little bit to get back in the flow when I'm doing this. <clears throat> and we go back to our package console here. Pipeline has been stopped. Right, okay, let's go ahead and run that again now that we've actually got our nerga packages installed so this video is going to go way beyond uh the 10 minutes are normally in for because we're almost at that anyways and i don't remember how to solve fibonacci so <clears throat> um step let's just do step one should return one i'm just gonna go up the steps man one returns one. 
Ah, huh, it hasn't changed it. Uh, if i equals one, we turn one. So I don't have a failing test first, because what would happen? Let's do it. <clears throat> So step two should return one. Huh, right? Uh, yeah, step two should return one. Um so step two, I renamed it for this, so step two should return one. <clears throat> I'm not doing this, so I'm gonna do <clears throat> a typo here if I equals two return two. It's a lot like return one, so if I have two, we return two, which we clearly know is not right. Our test should fail. Step two should return one, and it reverted, and it, pff, it's gone. So there we go. It does what it wants. Um, let's do or two. That doesn't compile. Okay. So it worked, we got TCR success. I am gonna rename this variable because it's really annoying to me. Um, <clears throat> it's our step. Okay. And step two should return one. All right, step three on the other hand, should return two. Go ahead and do this. So step three should return two. Okay. <clears throat> um, so if step equals three, turn two. Now, <clears throat> I could try and do it all just a big <clears throat> actually let's go and see what happens um like i don't know fibonacci but i know fib's gonna have to call um step minus one um which at point it's going to just walk itself back up and something i honestly don't know the uh <clears throat> algorithm for this off the top of my head uh What happens if I do this? Because it, it's going to get angry at me. Um, it's not going to work because it's recursive and it's going to blow itself up. So, <clears throat> um, yes, it's, it's in an infinite loop now. Uh, ah, test failed. Okay, got it got rid of it for me. Huh. Does it tell me why it failed? Like, uh, no, no, just test failed. All right. Um, hmm, that's cool. So let's do so I can't just add some code and willy nilly and hope it does stuff. <clears throat> so step four should be three. <clears throat> so I know this is it has to go down and then just walk back up. The number of steps. <clears throat> so let's just get this passing. Um, is that right? Deals, yeah. All right. And what are we going here? Fib fifteen returns six hundred and ten. Let's just go ahead and put that one in. Let's see what we get. I might need a method around it. Who knows? Uh, 15 is 610. <clears throat> now I could have this also watching for test code changes and it should be actually. I don't know why it's not. Uh, 
Huh, yeah, I would expect it to uh, be watching for test code changes. File watcher. Oh, source location. All right, so it's not watching for my test files. Fair enough. Could modify it to do that because I kind of like the idea of just running it when I create a new test, um, which it won't be able to build. All right, so we're going to watch test folder changes too. So now, if step equals 610, <clears throat> wrong, if step equals 15, return 610. I think we're going to hit a point, like if we do too big a number, it's going to overflow and blow up and be angry. <clears throat> I don't care. I'll do that later. <clears throat> so here, we need to go... Um, so if... Alright, so what I'm thinking, let's just do it like this. <clears throat> if step uh use one or two turn one um if step equals zero return zero <clears throat> i don't know if i need that one all right so but really what i want to do is fib i mean i would need if step equals zero. So I need to handle step being zero and one and two. That's what I got here. Otherwise, we're going to return fib step minus one plus fib step minus two. Um, <clears throat> so I, I just kind of want to think about this because that's eventually going to blow up. We can do that just for safety's sake. I've modified. I'm going to copy this so it doesn't actually throw it away. These are my thoughts. It's not a real thing. I won't throw it away. I haven't done anything yet. Um, so. Let's do this. If step equals zero, <clears throat> turn zero. So not change behavior. I mean, making it so it can't compile, but not change behavior. <clears throat> so we work. All right, we're gonna throw new exception. I don't want to do that. Change your behavior. Bad me. Okay. Um. Plus one. Plus. That's not gonna work. So what is, I need to add the current step to the next one down. Oh, oh, I feel like that's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. That's not gonna work. Mostly because I have things out of order. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I meant to do it here. Uh, fib. Plus one plus fib step minus two. So it should. All gonna work, but let's take this out. So I should still get two. I don't think I'm gonna get two. So I got two. Okay, kind of didn't expect that, but hey, <laughs> whatever. Um, four. Does four work? Oh, okay, four worked. 
Does 15 work? Uh, dang, man. It, it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't expect that. Um, not at all what I, I was expecting. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, right, what happens if I do this? That's not gonna work. Um, yeah, no, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, okay. Um, what's so? Right, what's what's uh fourteen? Step fourteen should be. I'm, I'm googling it. I'm, I'm figuring out what 14 should be. Um, one, uh, four, okay, so 14 is 377. So. Okay. I just gotta save it, it'll kick that off. This is what we want to um, also set up so that our tests are scanned um, because it'll make that a little bit easier. Now, duplicate. Uh, so I'm gonna say, since we have 14 and 15, we can deduce what 16 should be. Which I really don't care what it is, but it's going to be 377 plus 610. Uh, passing, running the test, it, uh, ooh, it failed. Uh, uh, wait, stop, stop it. Uh, it does little periods as it, uh, parses out. All right, I'm gonna run this just so I can freaking see what it is. Um, so I got little dots showing, and every time it does that, it kicks the, uh, window down. Thanks for uh, shouting that loud enough for me to hear you. I forgot to change that. I changed the name before I changed the insides. I didn't check myself. Okay, it works. Um, okay, this is not nearly as long of a video as I uh, thought it would be, mostly because Fibonacci clearly didn't take me that long. But we saw how it'll commit, it'll push, if I screw it up, it takes it back. Because, hey, there you go. What happens? Do we not need that? Like, I, I obviously don't know. Okay, so we do need that. Okay, hey, there we go. Um, Yeah. Thanks for watching, I guess. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to highlight the... I love the TDD process and this test commit revert makes it pretty cool because I have no choice but to run the tests. Um, I got to an answer far faster than I would have thought about it. And it's like, it's an idea. I'm just going to try it. Huh, it worked. I have tests showing it worked. I can add more tests and make sure it works. Yeah, okay, it does. I, I don't have to think about it. I mean, I could even do something fun. Um, just to make sure, yeah, no, I don't like that. Um, I was going to say, like, hey, fib 15 plus fib 15 equals fib 16. Yeah, but I don't care about that. Then I'm using the system to validate itself. And if I just returned all zeros, it would work like that. So that's not a valid test. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop this because uh, I got a result. <laughs> Um, and now, 
get status. Let's go look at this. Everything's up to date. I think I already get log. Um, so I got my initial commit. And then it's just a bunch of TCR success. Uh, it worked. One of the things you can do is like make it smarter. And we had a, uh, you know, like pull out the test that ran and what changed. I don't know. I'm not making it smart. Uh, but it works. And that is uh, 25 minutes of your life you are never going to get back. So I thank you for spending it with me.